Being a mountaineer is the is the greatest thing ever. I think we're just like a really like close like knit community. Mm -hmm. We're all like probably like brothers, I guess. Our kids are very proud, uh, you know, to be called the mountaineers. I think being a mountaineer is like being a part of a big family. I am a part of a long lacrosse tradition. A 1942 Memico lacrosse team uh, that joined Con Smythe's regiment and you know went to the. World War II. We bleed for each other and we do anything for each other. Everyone knows everybody, everyone helps everybody, and everyone wants everyone else to win. Being a role model to the guys younger to you, and then when you're younger, obviously looking up to the guys that are older than you. Being someone who represents the sport of lacrosse. Somebody who works really hard and tries their best, gives it 100% all the time. To be sort of a part of a group, like a, a band of brothers. Just being involved with the community of Mimico. Uh, I'd say Mountaineers love being the underdog. Uh, the more people without us, the more we love it. Kind of a reputation, I think, too. Nobody really likes us. <laughs> the sixth man at Final Six, they're just awesome. That's probably the craziest thing I've ever seen, you know. People, everyone was banging on the glass, everyone was cheering, we had all kinds of different chants. I mean, they kept us going, loud, they packed the barn. You don't see too many other teams with, with crazy fans like that, so, pretty special. The fans would kept cheering my name and then they instantly scored and it felt like the worst thing. I was tied 1-1 one, one, and then Wakami sends it down to me and then I see G wide open and I just send it to him and he finishes. And that was, that was, that was cool, yeah. So at the end of the game, in the midget game, like, everyone started running on the, on the turf and like at the end, Peely and Midgets both cut the net out. The atmosphere was crazy. All the Junior A and Junior B guys um, banging the glass. It just helped motivate us. The girl trained down there together. Thought like it would be good to get back to the minors and just support them. Make sure they give it their all. You know, they look up to us and uh, we just want to do everything we can to get them on top. It was the greatest experience ever. Everyone was behind us and we were in it together. I think that gave them a drive to just do their best. We were pretty hyped before our game and even we saw our crowd. They were just kind of always there making sure we kept it rolling. We were more excited to play. When I was a young kid you always heard about the glory days of Mimico Lacrosse so it's, it's nice to see in recent years it, it appears the glory days have come back. No bond is strong as one that compels brothers to bleed for one another. Not many leaders are this first in the craft of motivation. Not many pursuits can evoke such visions of brilliance. This is why it hurts so much when skill falls short of what the will desires. This is why it's so unforgettable when absolute passion yields ultimate reward. And that's all still just the start of what the game can do to you.